so this camera's begun. Okay, so that's my body cam. Very simple, nice and easy, right there. Okay, some body cams on, this cam's on. I'm gonna shut this one off because I'm done with what I gotta do. I just wanted to do a presentation. This will probably be part one to the series. All right, I'll be back, thanks. Okay. Damn, it's chippy. Fucking chilly out. Actually, I wanted to go in and get that, uh, I don't see John yet, so I'm going to go in and find out what the water level went up to on the washing machine that I was checking, and I just might as well check the temperature while I'm in there, too. Yeah, not good. So, lights, hot water, hot water wash, 22 minutes, barely any water. 78 degrees. Kind of got to make sure that it's the same cycle. This one. One twenty eight. One thirty six. So I'm watching to see if they're in cool down mode, what mode they're in. And they're not. This one might be in cool down mode on high, so it doesn't get up to temperature. This one. Unless it's in cool down mode, let's see. He doesn't even have a cool down mode. He should, he's wasting energy not having it. I don't see it. It's, it doesn't say cool down. So 138 at 10 minutes. 
so that usually has to do with uh, on how, yeah this one's only 100 degrees so 100 degrees on high for 31 minutes And here's, that was the final minute on that one, so that's understandable. So he doesn't even have, so we're going to have to point these things out to him. He doesn't realize it. He could put three minutes of cool down at the end of a cycle, and the heat that's in the machine won't be wasted like it is right now. See, it's all done, and it's at 123 degrees. So if he does a three-minute cool down cycle, he can stop the energy of the heat. At the same time, the clothes will continue to dry. See, he doesn't know this, or she. It was a woman who answered the phone. They don't know this. So I'm going to be able to help them, and they're going to save some money. All right, so that's that. So he does not have a cool-down cycle. This one here is staying, unless they just put it in maybe, and it hasn't got up the temp. Let's see, 107. 127 and that one's been running a while it's just not 13 minutes yeah you don't have no cool down cycle the hottest temperature of the water and here comes the water now let me see what the pool is going to be okay okay See, when I keep the cams in the car, I'll keep an eye out for, and then I walk around the bait vehicle and leave the cameras in the bait vehicle, the VHS is going, and then I'll see people like that, keep doing circles around the car. That's why we call it a bait vehicle. What are you doing? What is it? What are you up to? Uh, I'm uh, selling free phones. Cell phones? Do you uh, receive food stamps in mass health? <laughs> <coughs> no, no mass health. I don't want no mass health. Do you have food stamps? Oh, they're stamps? giving away. No shit. No, I don't have food stamps either. The guy I'm going to meet, though, I'm bringing him donations and stuff. Okay. So he might be interested yeah, in all this. Yeah, if you could send him over this way, I would, okay. I would happily 
So you have to be on food stamps though in uh, order to get it? Uh, you will, uh, any type of uh, um, uh, government benefit. Like okay. Social Security, uh, he is. cell phone stamps. Okay, yeah, he is. And then you guys give him a free cell phone? Yeah. Oh, he's going to be so yeah, happy. Uh, you want to know something funny? Look, I got four cell phones in the bag for him because <laughs> he needed a cell phone. They're all no, they're old cell phones. They're not the, nearly the, as good the, as that. The thing is, is that he has to qualify. If you don't qualify, all right. you can't get the phone. But yeah, you know, I'm he, here until like uh, 6 30, okay. like 5. I would say 5. Awesome. I would say five, just... Uh, and you get away with doing this on the sidewalk because you're on public space? Yep. So they can't say nothing they to you? They can't say nothing to us. Good for you, man. Good for you. I, I'm, I'm sticking to talking to every Mike. single person. Yeah. My name's Liberato. Nice I'm Mike. Yeah, that's good, man. That's great. So you're going to be down here doing this a lot or what? Uh, I would say uh, from... I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be here. I know someone with this badge is going to be out here. I got gotcha. you. If the person has this badge. And it's AMG called AMG. It. AMG Atlas Marketing Group. Atlas Marketing Group. All right. All right. That's good, man. I like to see that. That's great. And it's done through a private organization, it looks like, huh? Good, man. I there are it. other companies out there, but they really do screw screw up and screw people right we're not we're a very uh very on the book type yeah yeah and you can set up at any sidewalk now uh public seeing you can be on any public sidewalk your business is going to be limited right here on this sidewalk the, uh, the thing is this is where i was stationed i you see they like, tell you they tell yeah, you yeah it's like they tell us but we are we're our own uh contractors right right but we uh we yeah. Hey, yeah. sir. Sir. I'll let you get him. I'm going to get my buddy John. <laughs> That's funny. John, uh, if John shows up, let's see if he shows up. Gonna run in the store, so mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't got enough 
Have a great day. Have a great day. Good to you. How are you? Just coffee. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Hi, this is Mike Oziak again. I was just calling you back. I seen you on my caller ID. Sorry I missed you. It's kind of windy out and I'm walking around outside. Um, uh, thank you for getting back to me that quickly. Um, I'm still going to be down in the area downtown um, walking around just doing some research on some things. Uh, I happen to notice too on your dryers that um, you guys can save some money too on cool down time. Notice that the um, dryers are sitting there hot even after they stop. And I've got um, 20 years experience as a laundry mechanic and I can probably help you out on that if you don't already know how to adjust the uh, timers. And um, you can put them in cool down mode for the last three minutes and all the heat that is still in the exhaust and the heat that's still in the machine won't go to waste. And you'll be able to use that as your last three minutes that you won't have to pump out any gas to for a flame, you know what I mean? So I got some ideas for you guys, see if I can help out in some way. And um, I'm going to be walking around. Hopefully I'll hear the phone if you try me back. If not, I will call you back this afternoon when I get behind uh, the computer. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.
Yeah, I don't want to screw around so John don't answer. Alright, he's not answering, so let's just do this. Oh, here he is. Yeah, you drive like a maniac. No. I seen you the other day when I seen you coming out of the pillow place. I'm like, you fucking drive like a fucking maniac. I've got some ideas to fix that with some clamps. So um, the only thing is, is I'm going to have to come down on a little bit warmer of a day today because I'll be freezing my balls no, out there. I know. It's I'm already you, cold. You can't use your garage, right? That's not your garage. That's the landlord's yeah. garage. All right. So listen, there's a bunch of shit in these bags for you guys. Candies, treats, different stuff for the house. There's some clothing stuff here. There's four cell phones in there. A bunch of stupid shit. But while I was walking over here, I noticed there's a guy over here giving away free cell phones. Right. But I, that's what I, that's what the one I got is free phone. It's not a Verizon. It is not compatible. My Verizon um, SIM card is in that phone. Is it free from the state? Is yes. It but I want. I need. To, I need my. My same phone number. All right. Well, then I, there's four of them in here. Yeah. These are all work out Verizon, but I don't understand why you don't just go for one of those for freebie ones. Because I, don't, I want my same number. I, I but my, then you have to pay for it. Right. My, my, all my doctors are all on it. Yeah, but so transfer the fuckers. That guy's offering a free cell phone with free cell phone service. Anybody that got Social Security. But you can't transfer a number on them phones. Correct. So instead of transferring the number, just transfer the information from the phone to the new phone. That's all. You can transfer everything that's on your Verizon phone can be transferred over to that phone. So if that's really what it is that you're worried about, why are you paying $35 a month out of your pocket? for? Because that you're doing a phone like me, right? You just prepaid? You do prepaid phone? Yeah. Yeah, so that's costing you $35 to $40 right. a month. So that guy's free. So if you get a free phone, wouldn't you rather transfer everything over onto the other thing? I would think. Can't tie anymore. Yeah, you gotta have to keep strapping them all up that way, yeah. And that's going to work. See, so what I would do is put a clamp here and put a clamp there, but then it won't go down anymore. Don't you don't care? care? Yeah. Fuck it, John. Wait for me to get the clamps. I'm trying, I mean... Really, I could probably put a bar in there. 
put a bar going that way because that's what broke is these shocks. Yeah, yeah, right here. This is the whole thing right here. You, you hit me. That's because oh, uh, because it used to go automatically up and down. Right. So when you want to go upside down now, so I don't really care. Mm. He said he's got one, he's got a Verizon though. You don't have any Verizon phones, right? No. Yeah, so, so he's got one already. But thanks for trying. I told him why don't he just get one anyway, because he's on social security, he gets it free. For Verizon, he's paying $35, $40 oh, a yeah. month. Oh yeah, like our phones are free, unlimited everything. See, let me talk to him. John, isn't it better to have two phones? You're not understanding me, Mike. The phone that I got is all my information. Everybody knows. So keep it. that one. So keep that one. I can't keep it. Oh, is it by the ACP? Yes. I, the free phone. Okay, I, so I know what he's trying to say. He's saying that. The phone I've got. Let him tell changes, me. Let him say. If he changes lines, then it turns off the phone he has. No, but you can't. No, but your phone, the, your phone, the free phone, not countable. I am using the one right now, the one I got last time from you guys. I got a SIM card from Verizon, but I can't go outside with it because it it's not compatible. In other words, it's only working off his internet, it sounds like. Right. 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 I could sign you up for a new phone right now, and it would be better than that. No, I'm telling you, though, I need my Verizon number. But can't you just use that one at home? Since oh. it's internet, and then whenever you go out on the street, you got a different phone. No, because my all my all my, my wife's number. You'd still have that. You'd still have that in the oh, other phone. Oh, is it? Do you have a Gmail account? Yes. If you if you log into your Gmail onto this phone, it has all your contacts transferred. Over. Ah, because that's what he was yes, saying. I know that. That's how my, right. my the phone is. I got that already, but. I need this phone number, the Verizon phone number, is because all my doctors is on that. Oh, you would have to go to all those doctors again. Ah, uh, I see. And I know I how see. that feels. All right, well, that. he can do that with that phone then, because I gave him four old phones. Right, so, no, so he yeah. can do that with those phones, but still, to me, I'd want to have extra cell phone for free, I got especially. One. I got oh, you do? Of them. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. So they're like Obama phones type thing. Right. Yeah, they're Obama phones. Yeah. All right, all right. Like a fucking piece of shit. All right, I'm gonna walk back to the. I gotta go to that other laundromat up there, John. Oh, you work yeah. To do work no, no, I'm I'm trying to help them because uh, the water bills have all gone up all over town. Oh. So what's happening right now is the they've gone down on their water, only got this much water in there, and then also their heat on the dryers. They're, they're leaving the heat all the way down to the last cycle, which is, doesn't make any sense because they're wasting heat. So in other words, I, I can help them save some money and at the same time, better service for the town, you know? No, I'm just I'm trying to be a nice guy. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. All right. I'll probably see you up the road. I'm, I'm going to head up this way. All right, I got my heater gun. So I'm got... go get my white feathers today. All right. Oh, yeah, lots of candy and stuff in there for her, too, when she wants a little something treat, you know? Okay, see ya.
So I'm going to do a little walk the dock up this way because they're all over the place today. Hello? This is... Yeah, yeah, you're the guy that owns the laundromat. So. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm almost at McDonald's because it's a little loud out here. Let me keep walking and I'll, I'll fill you in on kind of what I want to do and see if you're interested in this. So um, so I have a lot of people in town that I know. Some are friends, family that use the laundromat and stuff like that. And then after talking with everybody and seeing what's going on with the uh, water bill. Um, excuse me kind of just as loud in here as it is out there huh so anyways um so what's going on is Jay, I, I was in Jane Alden's one day and they said uh his water bill went from 200 a quarter to 1400 a quarter and so I said this is ridiculous it's Jane Alden's they don't use any water what's happening at the laundromat and the car wash so um so I'm then a couple of friends were telling me about the uh, hot water over at the little laundromat and I said well that don't make sense what they're telling me because the water coming in the street they're under the assumption that it's hot water coming in from the street and I said that doesn't make any sense I said there's got to either be something wrong with the water heater or it's the price of propane or something like that M must be wrong right so that led me to um, uh, to one investigation after another with other people in town who are going through similar crisis with the water bill. It, it seemed to be hitting harder than the rest of them. So in short, what I'd like to do is I'd like to start a petition. I would write it up, let you look at, let you look at it first, and then hang it in the laundromat. So this would be separate from you. You know, I don't know you, so this is separate from you. I'm just looking out for the townspeople. You're the only laundry. I know, I know, it's ridiculous. So someone like yourself who's offering a service to the town, as a matter of fact, the only the only laundry service at the town, it's not like you can battle it out with other laundromats about who's gonna go higher on their prices. So, uh, so I thank you for trying to keep your prices down. I noticed you have throughout all the heating, you know, we, they went up on propane, they went up on electricity, they, you know, so I understand. So thank you for doing that. Um, and there's, you know, you can go to, to solar to try to help, but that's not helping anybody either. It's another scam. So, you know, what are you gonna do? Have a whole solar field and it's only gonna run half your laundromat and the rest power goes to the pole. So there's all kinds of shit that there's nothing we can really do because we're slaves. But um, as far as this goes, I think there is something we can do because we can ask for, you know, I know, I know they're not going to offer a full uh, discount, but they can at least offer something to well, help Mama, out the business owners along with um, uh, an understanding that your prices are going to have to come up in order to keep giving people a quality wash. Um, a lot of one and two, uh, you know, two, three family homes that are... Um, multi-unit homes investment properties for people right so uh, all the people yeah those are all your customers and you're doing the town a service that no one else in town can offer them so it just seems like you're getting screwed first and then you have to send that down to the to the citizens and the citizens are only going to be mad at you you know what i mean they don't understand that where it starts you know i know i don't i understand well of course I, I, yep, yep. I've been explaining that to your customers. Yep, yep. I know, I know. Oh, I know. It's, it, 
No, what they're doing, it's all purposeful, man. It's purposeful. They're driving everybody out of business, obviously. They did it with the COVID crap, and then now here come all the bills. After the COVID crap, the inflation is purposely putting everybody out. So what are you going to do, sell out to the government next? I mean, that's you're going to, you know, that'll be your only choice, really. Um, so uh, if so, if Jane Alden went from 200 to 1400, you can imagine when you're going to get whacked on this next increase. Unbelievable. So there's no way for you to stay in business. I'm sorry. There's no way unless the townspeople get together and say, you're not going to do this. It's the only two laundromats we have in this town. And by you doing this to him, he's going to be forced to bring in his prices up. I already gave them a little gist of what the prices should be at because you can compare it to like Max has a three family home. He's someone else that was in Jane Alden's that day. So going over it with him, with his increases, he would have to go up just to cover the new water bill he has to go up 75 to 100 for each tenant right so he's, so therefore he can't do his yearly five to five percent increase and have any kind of money in his own pocket what's the sense of having a rental unit if you're not going to make any money off it you know not even a couple hundred bucks a month he can't even make off a freaking rental i mean it's ridiculous yeah It's not, it's not, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. I was going to talk to you about all that, too. See, I, I, I've got a lot of years' experience. I was the director of mechanical operations, and I used to have 20 some odd uh, laundromats from New York to Connecticut, all around. And I got out of the business some years ago, but I, I stayed doing it for myself for a girl in Rhode Island. And I, uh, I, the old owners of your place, I did give my business card to years ago. Uh, I don't know, was that your dad or son? Or was, was it your father? That, I don't know. Okay, okay. So yeah, I gave him my card years ago, but that was with the old machines and all that crap was going on. So um, I can tell you right off the bat, you can save yourself some dough and get a better treatment for the customers with your dryers because you don't, I was just testing your temperatures on your dryers and they, they don't have any cool down time on them. You're going right to the end with your heat. So they're right. So if you put if you put a three four minute cool down time, you can add time to the person's dryer time, and at the same time you're not wasting the heat in the dryer that's just sitting there doing nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I am. I live right up the street. I'm a townsperson. That's what got me interested in all the what's going on with the town. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you got my number now, man. I, I can do it all. Yeah, I can do it all. I was going to talk to you about water level switches because there's so many adjustments to those water level switches. You can do the customer a, lo a good justice and yourself by turning down the um, on a hot cycle, one cycle, because, you, you know, let's say they do a hot wash, full wash then you can turn, yeah, so what you do is you turn up your cold water because it don't cost as much, so you can bring the, in other words, you're getting the clothes all wet, you know, for less money, because the first wash is always cold, and it's purposeful that way, and that's what gets the um, grime out and everything like that. So anyways, then, then you come in your second wash, that one you can turn down, and then on your final one for the rinse, you want to turn it back up again. So rather than have all three washes low, because then when people look in, they're, they're seeing it, and they're, they're going to, of course, complain because they're going to say, oh, look, there's no water. Not all your fault because I'll tell you, they do overload them, but you got to expect that. So you have to kind of return, you got to kind of return that overload with kind of what you're doing. You got good signage up explaining them, don't put too much soap or you'll screw yourself. Um, don't overload it or you'll screw yourself. You won't have enough water to even wash the clothes, that kind of thing. So with a little bit of signage, you can probably get the customers to work with you a little better too, you know? Um,
Yep. Right, right. <laughs> right, right. Right, it's definitely, it's, there's, yeah, there's several ways I can save you a buttload of money on that crap too. Um, okay, so one of the main ones is the exhaust systems. The exhaust systems, if you're not gonna do a good clean on every year, you're gonna screw yourself because what happens is the moisture also does not go out. So if you think you're keeping the heat in the dryer, it does you no good because the moisture doesn't leave and the clothes don't get dry, that's one. Then another one are what's called the sweep sheets. Are you familiar with those sweep sheets? Do you have them on your dryers? Um, no sweep sheets, okay. Because I was gonna say, we could save you some money on the sweep sheets, because if the sweep sheets get screws in them, you probably have the, you probably have the large sweep sheets, they're probably like uh, square looking, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so, so rather than the full ones. All right, so yeah, so I, I, even if those get ripped though, even if those square ones, sometimes a screw will catch it and you'll end up losing a lot of heat out of those. And all you do is you run the dryer around without taking the dryer apart and you use, um, uh, some gasket adhesive and then you put you stick it through the hole in the dryer drum and you just squeeze it out as you're going and you don't even have to take the dryer apart you know there's all kinds of little tricks of the trade you know yeah definitely Is Patrick, is Patrick still in charge at Yankee? Who's, oh no, that he was Super Laundry. Super Laundry is Patrick, that's right. I'm, I'm, I'm a stay at home dad, so I got all the time in the world. That's why I'm sticking my nose where it don't belong in the water bills and everything. So, so I do because I wanna meet up with you to go over this petition and how I'm gonna write it up and then get your approval on it. Sure, sure. What time? Give me a roundabout time and you call me an hour before you're ready and I'll be down. Around 10. So, okay, so call me around 9 if you want me there for 10 and I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, uh, intentively. Okay, and what was your name? I didn't get your name. George. Okay, I was outside. I didn't get to hear your name. Okay, George. All right, and I'm Mike and you give me a call. Yep. All right, sounds good. It was good meeting you. Okay, okay buddy. Yep, bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then I don't have to go down to his other one then. I don't have to do that now. So that's good. So that's a start on that problem. And here comes another unmarked, right? Looks like it. Maybe not.
Okay, so overlooking the lot. I'm gonna have to find something better for my uh, for my body cam now that I'm gonna be wearing this body cam more often. Cause it's a little fucky. And um So the guy that owns the laundromat's a nice guy, this guy George. Hopefully we can help him out. We'll start a petition. I don't know how this seatbelt's gonna work with my camera on me. Never tried this before. Let's see. Yeah, so I definitely gotta get a better body cam thing going on here. You know, it's nice to keep it tucked away so that it doesn't stand out and scare everybody. I also like it on my chest where I can zip my coat up and down. I'd rather use the phone as a body cam than a, than a, one of those uh, sports cams because they don't stick out of your chest like the other ones do. They're thin and easy to stuff in places here and there. So I don't know how the hell I'm going to work that out. I'll have to think about that a little bit. This guy, John, with the wheelchair is a real pain in the ass. He's a nice guy, but he's just a pain in the ass, though. So let's see what happens up here, because this is where they were doing everything. They had some kind of checkpoint thing set up over here a little while ago. So nothing going on in the skies today, no trails. But when I go back to the office, I'm gonna grab and start, uh, is that my uncle again? He's all over fucking town. Yeah, it is. So I don't have any way to pause this camera. So it's kind of boring to just watch me going around doing nothing. Um, but I have to test these cameras out anyway. So I'll just delete these videos later, these boring videos that I'm not doing anything in. Because what I'm trying to do is make sure they can hold as much memory as I need. That's one issue. And um, there's other issues too that I have. I got to deal with. Because um, I, I think it should have options to have a pause on the fucking thing. And then also to turn it from forward to backward, the, the uh, camera itself. I should have went the first second time I blinked my lights out. All right, so yeah, maybe I can shut it off now. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. It's a weird phone, man. Yeah. 